All right, sound mappers. I'm going to explain to you something that we were been experimenting with at White Oaks, Nadia Baba, and Andrew Mail and myself. We were making a scavenger hunt in the forest. In the forest, um, and dropping audio pins um, using Google Maps. So this is a process that you can use um, that we're still trying to figure out, but this is this is working okay so far for us. This is um, in the McCraney Forest right beside White Oaks, and you can see where we dropped the pins today. The way that we did it is when we were in the forest, students were recording in specific locations. Um, we asked to be called over to those locations, and we used the Google Maps on our phone and dropped a pin and saved that pin in, in those specific locations. So you can see on the left here that we've built a Wascab for a scavenger hunt um, map, and this, the current pin that I've selected is group number three. Um, so you can click on another one. This one is group number one. Um, and this is useful for if you're trying to drop a pin on a location that where there isn't a, a, a really clear landmark, right? This is in the forest. You see, just see a bunch of trees from satellite view. It's not like a street corner where it's easy to, to kind of pinpoint exactly where it is. So that's what we did on the trail today. Series of pins, all different groups, and built this uh, collaborative Google map of saved drop pins together, which is another great feature of Google Maps is you can collaborate on a single uh, shared map together. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna transfer that information into my Sonic Maps editor. Now, um, this is a little bit awkward with this, but this is how I've figured out so far. Um, so this was group number three, the, the turquoise one is the one I just placed the, down here. And the one above is the one that I want to do now. So I'm gonna grab a circle and I'm going to draw a circle. Now this circle is approximate at the moment. I'm just eyeballing compared to where the other one was on the map where I think that pin is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab and copy the coordinates, the longitude and latitude, um, and I'm gonna copy and paste them into here. And you'll notice that the numbers will change ever so slightly. So I'm going to grab this, add the longitude, and then hit return. And you notice the circle shifts just a little bit because I eyeballed it and I did a pretty good job, but this is exactly centered on the location that they want it to pin. So now I'm gonna name this, this is group one's audio. I'm going to find the audio file and I already previously uploaded these files. And I'm gonna, so I'm gonna group, group one, choose that file and there you have it. Okay, so that's the one method to take pins from a Google map and visually draw a circle, do it one last time, somewhere over here. Okay, I've got an approximate location, and then I use the longitude and latitude from the dropped pin on Google Maps to make that location even more accurate. So I copy and paste over my longitude and latitude. Just like so, hit enter, we're gonna get a slight shift. This is group number five. Grab the group number five's audio. Oh, nope, oh, I don't wanna do that. Group number five audio, choose the file and so on. Okay, and I'm starting to slowly build that, um, the project in Google Maps. So there you go, this is how you can take a Google Maps dropped pin so you can collaborate on location on site, and then after the fact, use those locations and their coordinates to uh, drop some pins, especially in areas like the forest where it's hard to find a landmark to, to drop those pins. All right, have fun, enjoy, and let me know if you need any support.